naked speed. If we're gonna put a Hinkley motor in this frame, it's obviously not gonna work. We're gonna have to modify it, build a custom frame. We're gonna need to see one. I guess the place to go is only around the corner, actually. It's a five minute walk from here, CRC Motorcycles. All right, well, let's get on the bikes and go uh, for a ride and go see those guys. In talking with Mark, you know, explaining to him that we were looking for some inspiration, um, he recommended that we head right down the street to CRC Motorcycles of London. That's amazing. Hi. Hi. We're looking for doing? Will? Oh, that's me, yep. Hi. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Cool. Yeah, I'm Herm from Dime City. Jason oh, from Dime City. I thought I recognized you both. Yeah. We're looking at building a modern day Triton yeah. with a, a modern Hinkley motor. Uh, so we have a slimline feather bed in the U.S. The motor doesn't seem to fit in there, and we're thinking maybe a, a wide... Wide line or something Wide line, or maybe there's a different variation of a feather bed that you have we can take a look at, see if uh, maybe we can get a motor squeezed in there. Yeah, we've got a, frame, a couple of frames kicking around. You can have a look if you like. And it just so happened that they had a handful of feather bed frames that we could take a look at. You know, in the States, we only had a slimline frame. Here, they had a wide line frame, and we were hoping that, you know, we could maybe modify a wide line frame. This frame out right? Awesome. Want to roll that sucker out of there? Oh, Herm, this might work, man. This might do it. Yeah, that looks big. Hey, Will, you have a tape measure handy somewhere? Uh, yep. Yep. Give a sec. There you go. Now, if this thing's 20 inches or so, we should be good to go. And it's not going to work. Well, uh, so much for that idea. But unfortunately, once we took the measurements, we realized it wasn't gonna happen. So we are now gonna have to build a frame truly from scratch.